Hello and welcome to another headliner video. Uh, today we're going to be having a look at the HERE Technologies HERE Back Pro System. Uh, we recently reviewed, or I recently reviewed this, and you can find this on the headliner website. If you go and have a search for it, uh, there's a full written review there. I liked it so much, I thought I'd do a quick video and show you just how easy this is to set up and how great it sounds. So it comes in this rather nice carry bag here. Uh, inside we have the main unit itself, this is the hub, uh, the, we have these rather nice little controllers, um, we've got Ethernet connections on the bottom, it uses standard CAT6 cable, there's alternative headphone jacks there and there's also a protected line out as well in stereo which we'll use in a second. Uh, and that way you can actually hear what it sounds like. So let's quickly hook this system up. Uh, a bit short space here, but we'll see how far we get. Let's pop this laptop there. Now I'm running QLab. This is so we can run a series or a multi-channel um, playback job you would use live. A lot of users of this system use it specifically for studio monitoring. On the back of this unit, we have a Dante interface card. We have a Here Back's own interface card, which allows you to daisy chain a number of these modules together. At the moment, we've got the standard eight output uh, for these devices, but you can, of course, replace them with individual cards which you can also, I believe, control over uh, a Wi-Fi network, and it gives you a left and right output and XLR, which is perfect if you want to put one of these in an in-ear rack, for example, and have it offered to the side of the stage, and people can simply control their mixes via Wi-Fi from their phone. So there's an iOS device to control their mixes, 16-channel mixes, or indeed, you can still plug one of these in and then control the output from that. So you could have a single Cat5 cable out to the stage and that can control a stereo output. Okay. This is my Dante connection going in now. Okay. So we have a little job set up here. I'll just uh, take one of their Cat6 cables and then we'll see the device boots up. Red indicates there's something wrong, purple indicates it's thinking about it and it's all blue. Once it uh, is happy and it's booted up correctly and it can talk to the interface. Uh, if you look at these, there's a simple volume controls. Down here, you have a pan switch. If you press that, it all turns green and you can pan. It's that simple. Okay, you can also set left and right. So if you hold it down, So these all now move together, so they're now paired, these sets. And I think on this particular project, I think it runs drums, bass, guitar, guitar, uh, there's marimba, kind of stereo uh, intro, there's uh, some backing vocals, I believe, um, there's a mix and a click track, and uh, Ooh, I've forgotten what the other thing is, uh, and some strings and synth pads. So we'll find all those as we plug it in. So to take an output, I've got a stereo track running there on the uh, on Logic. Uh, I've got uh, one and two stereo out. There we go. We'll plug these in. Now, 
before we do anything, I'm just going to check that uh, Dante is working. I can see it's working because there's no crosses there. It's there. It's running 32 channels, so we've got to pick up the 16. Just need to check that, in fact, they're all assigned correctly. So we've got the Hearback Pro and we've got the transmitters. And there we go, 1 to 16. Okay, that's all good. Let's lose that. And hopefully you'll be able to hear exactly what I hear. One of the great things about this system is the um, headphone amp is extremely powerful, so it'll drive proper studio monitors, or, or big headphones rather, as well as these IEMs. A word of warning, if you're going to use your IEMs, make sure you turn the master right down, because they do. this unit does tend to be quite loud. signal is. Obviously you can see it's quite a strong signal there and that's a really good visual indicator of exactly what's happening. Another great feature of this. Okay. bit of an insight into how quick and easy it is to set up and use the Hearback Pro system. Um, yeah, what can I say? Um, I don't think I've ever used anything quite as simple to play with and set up. So um, yeah, very impressed. Um, so if you like this video or are interested in this system, then head over to Hearback Pro's website. Uh, head over to our website and check out the full review if you're interested. Um, please like, share, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. Uh, please leave a comment as well. If you uh, want to ask any questions, feel free to do so. And um, we'll see you in the next video.